I was from uh, Taiwan, a, a place that experienced earthquake, hundreds of earthquakes a year. So as an engineer, I believe something we can do. The animation that was put together that shows how the hundreds of GPS sites that Japan has deformed in real time as the earthquake was happening is, is just fantastic. The problem is they couldn't see it during the earthquake. They didn't know to look. But now that they know, it's actually very powerful because they would have known within the first three minutes that the earthquake was a magnitude nine, which exceeded what was expected and what had been modeled for the region. So they would have had 17 extra minutes to know that the tsunami was gonna be much bigger. Exactly. Earthquake really you know, doesn't give us time to escape. You know, it kills people and it's, uh, and particularly for underdeveloped countries like you saw in Haiti, how devastating it could be. Ultimately what we want to be able to do is use our observations and our models to make predictions. In the case of Haiti, what we did is we measured what the deformation was before the earthquake and it turns out that the motion that happened during the earthquake was very consistent with what we saw before the earthquake so that the fault was getting loaded before the earthquake and we could predict now that we know this, what we expected the motion. So the geology is very important because if the ground is not stable and the ground can liquefy, which means the ground can become liquid in a, in a short duration, so the structures can crumble into this ground. So when we do our soil characterization, we look for what's the worst case earthquake on a Richter scale. And for each type of earthquake loading, we have a, a set of protocols to run the soil testing in the lab and see if the soil is uh, stable during that earthquake event. When the strong sh shaking comes, um, some, even though the soils are okay, but the, the building itself will fail. My job is to make sure that those kind of uh, undesired damage won't occur. So everything is based on the past um, bad experiences. That's how we learn, unfortunately, how to prevent uh, severe damage or collapse of buildings. It's a, it's a collaborative approach, and I think this research uh, that we are conducting is going to add every time a piece to this whole puzzle, and I think it will help with better understanding how the structures will behave, how the soils will behave for different scenarios, and then hopefully in the future we come up with real seismic resistant structures, and that's our goal with the research.